Making sure your pets get along is a major priority. This is because if you have two pets that don't get along, they can end up fighting over your attention, or more importantly, end up hurting each other. This video will go over the basics of how to introduce cats and or dogs, but the specifics will be different for different animals. It never hurts to ask a veterinarian, behavioralist, or the organization that you adopted from for more questions. Before adopting, consider how your current pet or pets has reacted before to other animals. First, find a neutral area, somewhere that your existing pet does not go often and does not think of as their territory. A good example of one of these places is a laundry room or a bathroom. Block off this area with a door that the animals can't see through. Bring the new animal into the new area without letting either animal see the other. This would be a good time, if one of the animals you are introducing is a dog, to begin teaching them some basic commands to help the other animals keep safe. After a while, switch the animals, still not letting them see each other. Do this a few times if necessary. This lets the other animal get to know the other other animal's smells. Consider moving a blanket or something that smells like one animal into the area of the other and vice versa. This helps familiarize them with each other. Begin feeding the animals at regular times by the door that separates them. They still can't see each other, but they will gain an association between the other's smell and food. Bring the bowl closer to the door every time you feed them. To begin introducing the animals visually, take down the door and replace it with a screen door or some kind of gate. Repeat the step of moving the bowl closer again, this time using a blanket to slowly reveal the other animal's face as well. It helps to have a person on both sides helping each pet feel safe. From here forward, you need to be carefully watching both pets. Signs of fear or aggression in cats include folded ears, hissing, growling, and tense body posture. Dogs should be watched to make sure that they are calm and not overly excited if they are being introduced to a cat. Signs like this let you know that you should be going a bit more slowly. When they are comfortable, it is time to enter the same room. Make sure to play with them separately as they enter the same room to distract them from each other. Two people should be present for this. When introducing a cat and a dog, consider using a leash in case things get out of hand. The cat needs to be able to feel safe if the two are going to get along. If things start looking tense, separate them and try again the next day. Continue this until things don't seem awkward anymore and the pets are comfortable. The other thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that neither pet feels left out when it comes to attention. This can lead to anger against the other pet, which can cause fights. Please keep this in mind when adopting, as all pets need attention. We hope that this video was helpful, and if you thought so, please check out our other videos and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching!